Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. Yesterday I was celebrating my wedding anniversary, being married to Janice for 37 years. And uh, I was sharing about uh, how nervous I was the day you know, leading up to the wedding that I didn't miss my flight home to get married. But I wanted to add something else about having been married to the same woman for 37 years. And it's this that there are many things about Janice that I admire. Many things, she has many gifts and, and many talents and many ways that as a wife and a mother and a grandmother, I give thanks, God, thanks to God for her every day. One of the greatest things is that with myself and Janice, we've always felt that we can encourage one another to press on to greater things. You know, when I look back to our wedding day 37 years ago, we had some hopes about how things would work out. We had some thoughts and plans and expectations about marriage. And uh, you know what? Probably we've taken our marriage and our life has taken some twists and turns, some of which we would never have chosen to take if we could have planned the thing out. And yet God has taken us to places where nobody dreamed we could go. And we've done things that we never dreamed we could do together. And part of that has been encouraging one another to pursue God's calling for our lives. That uh, for 37 years, Janice has been encouraging me to follow the plan of God for my life and to be the man that God always wanted me to be. And for 37 years, I've encouraged Janice to pursue God's plan for her life and to be the woman that God has called her to be. We all need encouragement. I know there are times whenever we're on our own and we we, 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 we haven't got that encouragement. And of course, there's that famous passage in the Old Testament where when David was in trouble, it says David encouraged himself before the Lord. But the, the fact is, while we can, there are times when we can encourage ourselves, there's times when we need others to encourage us. Now, a marriage is a wonderful way of doing that. And I do appreciate more and more every day why the word of God says that we should not, as a believer, be yoked unequally with unbelievers. Now, if you're already in a marriage, that is that case. If you're a believer married to an unbeliever, then you know what? That you're in that covenant and now you just pray for God to uh, take your marriage partner and uh, br bring them to himself so that the two of you can serve Jesus Christ together and to love the person that God has joined you to uh, till death do you part. But I do appreciate so much why it is so much better for a Christian to be married to another Christian because we can encourage one another on. I can't imagine trying to pursue some of the some of the places that God has taken me and some of the things that God has done through my life and some of the steps of faith I've had to take. And I can't imagine what it would have been like to try to take those steps without having a marriage partner beside me who was supportive and saying, you've got to pursue God's plan for your life. I, 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 in fact, some of the things I've, I've done and been able to do and places I've been able to go, it would just be impossible without having a, being a committed Christian beside me in this walk of marriage. So I want to speak particularly today, if you haven't yet found your, your life partner, your wife, your husband, then I would really encourage you to make sure you find somebody who loves Jesus and somebody who's going to encourage you to love Jesus as well. And then as you help each other to love Jesus together, uh, you will be amazed at what God will do in your life. I've been amazed at Janice. I've been amazed at what God has done in her life. I've been amazed at what I've seen her happen in her life. And I'm amazed at how she has been able to help me to pursue God's calling in my life. And that's what marriage is about. It's not about competing with one another. It's about supporting one another. And I would encourage you today, if you are married, pray for your marriage. If you're not married, please pray for married couples. Pray for the married couples you know in your family, in your friend circle of friends, in your church, and pray that together, Married couples, Christian married couples, will continue to lead each other forward into greater adventures of faith in Jesus' name. God bless you today. Join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.